Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time being here, hi, my name is Destiny. I post on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So please consider subscribing and clicking that bell icon so that you can see when I post. And um, yeah, I'm gonna get right into it. So today I'm basically gonna be doing a mashup of the two different makeup looks that Ariana Grande and Lady Gaga had in their new Rain On Us. Um music video and so basically i put their names in a little baggie and i'm gonna like shuffle it up and for each step of my makeup process i'm gonna pick a name out and then i'm gonna reference the photo and do that part of my makeup how it is done in the video if that makes sense basically like if i do my eyebrows i'm gonna pick a name if i pick ariana i'm gonna do my brows how ariana has her brows y'all get the vibes so anyway I got this idea from Alyssa Ashley. I'm gonna link her video down below. So yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by doing my brows, which I always do what I um. But yeah, so I'm gonna shake up the little bag here. Okay. So I got Ari, Anna. So yeah, I'm gonna do basically Ariana's brows, or at least in the reference photos I have or whatever, they're more like straight as opposed to Gaga's brows being like very arched or whatever. And they're giving me more like Instagram brow, like they're darker and all that. So that's the vibe I'm gonna be going for. That's the look we're gonna be giving. Yeah. All right, so since Ariana has that like thick instagram brow look what i'm gonna do i've already like brushed my brows up or whatever but i'm gonna i know usually people use like a brow gel when they do that i don't really use brow gel so i don't have any but i do have a brow powder and a hair gel so we finna hook it up and i so i basically sprayed my brow powder with like some um what do you call it? Setting spray. And I put a little um, gel on my brush. And so I'm just gonna go right into that. And we'll see if it works. I mean, it's worked before, so it should work now. Okay, so this looks crazy right now, but I'm gonna clean them up. It doesn't look like she has any like bright concealer around her brows or like no under brow highlight, whatever. So I'm gonna just clean them up with a, like a foundation. Especially before I even go clean them up because I'm seeing like on camera, it's not as dark and it's missing a little detail. I don't know if y'all can hear that. On camera, it's looking kind of like lighter than hers and it's missing some like detail of those hair strokes. So I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Micro brow pencil is called the ultimate brow i believe it's in the shade dark brown okay and now i'm gonna go ahead and i just got a little bit of the milani conceal imperfect foundation and i'm gonna clean up my brows with that Now we finna do the base, well we're finna pick for the base. Yeah. Gaga's makeup was more like snatched, like her contour was like this. And like like you like she was contour and basically since we got Gaga, we're going for full coverage. And that I stand that I live by. 
Okay, so for my foundation, I'm gonna do a mix of the Maybelline Superstay, the Superstay foundation, the full coverage one, and I got this in the shade 355 Coconut and 360 Mocha and the Dewy Smooth Fit Me formula. They're both from Maybelline. So I'm going to blend it out with this synthetic foundation brush from Wet n Wild. And then I'm going to go over it, do a little once over with my beauty sponge. Okay, new body, new skin. So now, okay, so I looked at the reference picture. And basically, Gaga's highlight is, like, definitely centered more towards, like, this part of her face right in here. I'm going to put the picture so you can see what I'm talking about. Like, basically, it doesn't go past here. And her nose is really highlighted. And, yeah, so I'm going to zoom that. I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. I'm going to go in with that. And maybe a little bit of the Milani concealer. Everything that I use will be in the description box below, by the way, if I haven't said that already. Okay, yeah, so before I um powder, which when I powder, it's not going to look so, like, even very much Michael Jackson bad right now. Um, But, yeah, I want to contour my nose because her nose is, like, contoured a way I don't usually do, which is why my nose is highlighted like this. Okay, so to set my under eye and like my the places where I highlight it, I'm gonna be using a mix of two crayon case chalk dust powders, the shade N and the shade C. This is N, this is C. And so I'm gonna mix them a little bit and then I'll go ahead and set. Yeah. Okay, so even though I didn't you bring my concealer, even though I didn't bring my concealer all the way like out here, it looks like she's going for that lifted look and it looks like she would have had a little something up here. So I just went ahead and baked and put powder out here even though that's not where I highlighted. Now while we're baking or whatever, I'm gonna go ahead and contour and I'm using the matte book palette from the crayon case. Okay, so I'm gonna like, one, it's a flat brush, so I'll just lay it across my face like that. Uh, and then I'm gonna go straight down. It looked like, I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna insert a picture. Basically like her bronzer contour, whatever. I know they're different things, but yeah. It was like all the way, like from here to here. So that's what I'm gonna try to in with just some setting powder it's just to clean up my contour okay so I'm gonna sweep all of this away with my Iman pressed powder and this is in the shade medium deep
So um, while I do the rest of my face, I'm going to just bake again with just to brighten up under my eye and also to clean up this nose contour. So let me apply that. Okay, so I started doing this eye off camera just because I wanted to get in like the hang of it and plus like my head was going to be in front of my face and all that. And I'm just going to let you know right now. One. It's not perfect, but I'm not gonna stress over that. You know why? Because nothing is perfect. Can't be seeking perfection, bro. You can try your best. And then that's it. Leave the rest. Try your best and leave the rest. Period. So, um, what happened was this line, like, it was a struggle. And basically, I had to wipe off some concealer right here. So now it's like, I don't know what the situation is going to be when I wipe this powder off because I had to put more concealer and more powder and she's feeling a little sh over here so it's like Ariana has a little brown shadow on her lid like in her crease like it's a transition color so I just I did that on this eye. <laughs> okay so this is about to be the hard part well actually first we're ready to do the easy part we're ready to do a wing liner is she has like a wing line on her lid and then the white stuff so i'm going in with the kat von d um tattoo liner that yeah that looks much better than this eye so i'm gonna sketch out the line with this is a white eyeliner pencil um yeah so basically the line goes from her nose and then out and so we're gonna we're gonna do that so now that i traced out that like little sketch now we're about to write on the dotted line okay we're gonna go in with this it's just mayron clown white or whatever it's like a cream makeup it's going in with this flat little like concealer brush or whatever. As you can see, we're messing up already. So what we're gonna have to do is clean up these lines with concealer, which is fine. That's in my wheelhouse, that's in my bracket. For the under eye, I'm not even gonna sketch it out and drag that pencil across my eye. I'm just gonna go straight in with the Mayron Clown White. Tell me that's not tough. Tell me that's not tough. I killed that. I ain't really lie. That was one take. That was one take. I'm not even going to take the applicator. I'm going to just put some on the back of my hand. I'm going to take that same concealer brush. Take a little tiny bit of concealer. And just start cleaning up that line. Okay, I'm gonna set this, like, I'm gonna set the white liner with a uh, white eyeshadow. Let's see what it's looking like when we sweep this bag off. The Great British bag off, to be exact. Okay, so I'm gonna clean up this eye off camera. All right, so I tried to clean it up a little bit. I'm satisfied with how it looks. It is what it is. So the only thing I have left to do is she has like some black in her waterline. Again, I'm gonna pick the picture right here. 
So I'm gonna go in with this Wet n Wild Coal Liner in black. So I put the black in my waterline and she also has some like brown, just like a little smudged under the white. So I just got some brown shadow on this essential crease brush. And then I'm just gonna go and put some brown right under that white line. It really didn't look like a lot, so that's all I'm gonna put because it's starting to look like I'm giving the girls raccoon teeth. Wipe all this off, not white. Sweep all this off, put a little pressed powder. Anyway, um, this is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. I'm just letting y'all know I'm finna look good. If you made it this far in the video, please like, comment, subscribe if you are not already. Please press that bell icon because Thursday, Thursday we finna be talking about Miss Doja Cat. I very big when I got on my lashes, period. So I'm gonna look at the reference picture for the Gaga picture. I'm gonna look at the Gaga picture again so I can do this face highlight. Then we ready to pick for the lips. Actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick for the lips now. And then we're gonna come back. I'm gonna have my lips done. I'm gonna change my, I'm gonna fix my hair, brush my hair, cause I look a little raggedy right now. But yeah. Gaga. God. Gaga. Boom. I believe Gaga's lip is a little more peachy or something like that. I don't know. I'm going to list all the products I use in the description box below, like I said in the beginning of this video. So, Anyway, I don't know if y'all can tell the difference in my hair, but I can, and I feel super cute. I look cute. Anyway, what was I coming on to say? Oh, right, 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 right. I don't, I couldn't tell if it was just bronzer, like a really red bronzer, or like blush they had on, but it looked like blush to me. It had a little like blush to me, because I got on bronzer, and I still don't. I'm not, I'm not getting a fantasy. So, so, um, I'm going to go in with, oh, what's I saying? The red and the, the red and the peach one. I'm gonna go into that red and that peach one. This was fun. I enjoyed myself. I mean, this was a little bit of struggle bus, but overall I look cute. So once I, anytime I struggle, if I still look cute on the end, do I care? No, no I don't, no I don't. I don't care if it was the worst moment in my life. I've literally had times where I be like broken down inside, feeling miserable. And then I just end up looking cute. Like I go do something and then I look at myself, I'll be like, oh my God, this is the best day ever. I just look amazing. I look like the Natalie stuff. I look like Naomi Campbell. And you hoes can't tell me otherwise. And that's on period. Oh, by the way, before I leave, first of all, like, comment, subscribe if you have not already. And why haven't you? Hmm? Hmm? Anyway, before I go, this video right here, that look right there, guess who liked that look? Guess who put car heart eyes? 
commented heart eyes under my Instagram post. My Instagram will be in the description box as well. Miss Daya said herself, she said heart eye. Heart eye. To me. And on that note, and on that note, thank you for coming to my TED Talk, sis. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Go watch my videos. Subscribe. Peace out.